Yo, what up guys? Welcome back to another quick Flutter tutorial. The widget of the day is the animated container. Now we've been working with some very simple containers. So let me show you some cool things that you can do that will make your app feel much more alive and fun to interact with. And to demonstrate some of the possibilities, I'm going to show you three different ways you can use an animated container. The first is changing the size. Second is changing the color. And the last one is moving the container around. This is some fun stuff, so let me show you how to do this by jumping into the code. Now, just to keep everyone on the same page, I've got a main function that's running my app, which is running the home page. And this home page is a stateful widget. Now, there's going to be a lot of movement happening on our screen and a lot of values changing, so make sure that we're using a stateful widget and not a stateless widget. And inside this blank scaffold, I'm just going to start off by giving it a nice background color. And in the middle, Let's create a very basic container. So a height and a width of 100 and just give it a color. So we have this box. Now the first thing I'm going to show you is how we can change the size. Now if I want to change the size, that means the height and the width need to be a variable. So let's just create that real quick. I'm going to call it double box height and double box width. I showed you previously how you can use a gesture detector. Now I'm going to wrap this scaffold in a gesture detector, which I showed you how to do in a previous tutorial. And on the on tap function, let's create a method called expand box. So in this method, I want to set state and change the values of the height and the width. So let's say to 300 each. So if I save this and I tap on the screen, it's going to change the size of the box. Now you can change the values like this, but jumping from one value to another value doesn't make the transition very smooth. So this is where an animated container comes into play. And when you use this, we have to specify a duration. So how long do you want the transition to be? So let's say it's one second. And then you can see from the size that it originally was to the size I'm going to, it has a nice smooth transition. Now we can do the same thing, but for the color. So again, if I want to change the value of a color, that means it's going to have to be a variable. So let's create a box color variable. And initially, let's set it to be deep purple. Come back to our container and now let's use our box color. And let's create a second method and let's call this change box color. So if we trigger this method, let's set the state and change the box color to be pink, for example. So if we run this method now, you can see it changes to pink, but it doesn't just go from purple to pink right away. It has a nice smooth transition to it. Now, the last example I want to demonstrate here is the ability to move the position of this container. So inside this animated container, I'm going to create another container, which you can specify this alignment. Now, in my container tutorial, I went over how to use this alignment, but just to quickly recap, 0, 0 is in the middle, and these values range from negative 1 to positive 1. So negative one, negative one is on the top left and positive one, positive one is on the bottom right. So let's create a third method. And this one I'm going to call move box. And once I set the state, I want to change the position of this box, which means I'm going to have to create a couple of variables top. So let's call it box X and box Y. So just the X and Y coordinate. And so now if we trigger this move box method, let's change these coordinates and I'm going to change it to positive one, positive one, which should go to the bottom right. So let's change the on tap method. And if I tap this, it shuffles to the position. Again, just to re-emphasize, it's not just going from one position and then teleporting to the new location. The point of an animated container is to have that animation during the transition phase. So you can obviously change the duration time. So you can see here, you've got a lot of different options like milliseconds. So you can obviously make this a lot quicker. And just the last thing I'm going to talk about is this curve option. So if you hover over it, it's linear by default which just means it's going to move from one point to another in a linear fashion. But you can choose any of these options. So you can pick the type of movement that you want. So that's just a few examples of how you can use an animated container. But hopefully you can see after these few examples that the possibilities are actually endless. So you can do this for whether it's padding or uh, rounding the corners or moving the position of the container. Anything that you want to change the value of, you can use an animated container to make it much more aesthetic and it makes your app feel much more alive and fun to interact with. So hopefully that was easy to understand. If you have any questions, just let me know below. And other than that, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Laters.